Jennifer Taylor, and, and this is Ron Gilmore, my husband, and this is Lola's Organic Farm. We started farming about um, six years ago now, and it's a, a USDA certified farm. The farm was uh, 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 previously owned by my grandmother, it's a family farm. And uh, my grandmother was a great small farmer growing all kinds of vegetables and uh, she had uh, orchards of, of peaches and pears and walnut trees, pecan trees, all kinds of um, poultry and uh, some goats and dairy cow. And uh, she loved this farm so much. She was no known in the neighborhood for sharing the produce from her farm and canning and making preserves and doing a lot of cooking and um, that is memory that I have of my grandmother at the farm and sharing with us. We lived away so sharing, bringing the produce to us, field peas, corn, whatever she had, bringing it to us as well. And making uh, also cane syrup, which I think is, is great. But at any rate, uh, sharing with the community. And that is the memory that we have of the farm and that is what we're also trying to do uh, through this now USDA certified organic farm. biggest problems initially was Bermuda grass. Uh, it just choked the very life out of anything we attempted to plant. We had two tenth of an acre plots and one of the plots uh, we used tilling as a solution and then the other tenth of an acre plot we used a biological method utilizing cover crops to see which method worked best for us to uh, solve this problem. Just continuously uh, uh, raking out the weeds and cultivating it and harrowing it, uh, we found that the cash crops, the yields were poor. And actually the, the uh, the organic matter in the soil was a lot lower. The um, uh, cash crop plants didn't grow as big when it came to the onions and the kale. The leaf size was smaller. There is a great benefit in using cover crops in so many different areas as well as the uh, not only if you talk about improving microbial activity and the soil moisture and the, uh, the nutrient balance in the soil after you incorporate improving the organic matter, but then also what we seem to learn is that the cover crops um, gave a more vigorous crop afterwards. What I would suggest is that, um, if possible, they could come up with a, a, a problem that's not only true for their farm, but common for other farms uh, throughout their region or throughout the Sare, uh, uh, Southern Sare area. And then work with a group of uh, partners or collaborators that can help develop a well-designed uh, project that not only looks at the methods, but the research aspect as well, and the impact for the for that whole farming population, and uh, enjoy it. I think it's a really good relationship between Sare and the farmers, and a wonderful opportunity for the farmers to learn themselves, and then also share this information with the farming community. Mm -hmm.